Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to just a quick tutorial for Vintage Story that was requested. And for this tutorial, of course, we're going to be over in a creative world. But a tutorial was requested by a couple people, uh, originally uh, Humong Us, uh, asking about how to find salt. Uh, so there's a couple different ways to find salt. Uh, first up is finding what's called a salt dome, and that you're going to find pretty much in any place uh, that has a sedimentary layer of stone. So it's important when you, when it comes to trying to prospect for it, make sure that where you're looking has sedimentary stone. Uh, so for example, this is conglomerate rock, which is a sedimentary stone. Um, and of course you can look at the stone pebbles above ground to know what the top layer there of stone is going to be without having to dig up dirt. Uh, or of course you can look on the side of like mountains and things like that. And if you don't know the different uh, strata and the different stone types, just hit H, go down to your game mechanic rock strata right here under your guides, and it's going to tell you uh, which types of stones are sedimentary. So that's going to be your claystone, your sandstone, limestone, chalk, shale, chert, conglomerate, and bauxite. And it tells you a little bit of information about these, and namely, the most important thing here is... Um, Sedimentary layers will always occur above igneous and metamorphic. They're never going to occur below it. So make sure that you're checking that surface stone. Make sure it falls under one of these before you even bother prospecting specifically for halite. Uh, now, once you've located a proper place, just go ahead, do your prospecting. Now, of course, I'm in creative mode, so it's just going to do instantaneous prospecting. Normally, you're going to have to prospect three locations uh, before you actually get a readout. Uh, but you can see right here that this has found halite. Now this is a very poor, normally I wouldn't dig around a very poor, I would look for at least a decent uh, when it comes to ores before I actually start digging. However, halite's kind of weird. A lot of times uh, when you go to actually digging around like a decent, you may not find your actual halite node. Like for example, this was a decent that was pretty far off. Uh, actually the decent reading was right in here, for example. And where I actually found the, the node of highlight is way over here. Uh, it was like a 38% decent. So sometimes it can take a little bit of time to uh, come across uh, the highlight deposit. But I did locate it here. Um, now when it comes to mining for highlight and actually trying to find where your node is. Normally when it comes to searching for ores, I like doing vertical shafts in like a checkered pattern. However, with highlight, I actually like doing vertical mining. Uh, and let's come over here so I can show you what I would do uh, for locating highlight is I would dig down once you're ready to start actually mining for it. And once again, it can take a really long time to find highlight uh, just because of the way that it spawns. Uh, but I would dig down right to where the sedimentary layer ends. Uh, you can actually see this is where I dug. And... Uh, dig down to right here at this border where it kind of where it kind of goes from the sedimentary layer to the metamorphic layer because halite is always going to spawn the top of it in the sedimentary layer um, so digging right in here you're sure to locate it because of the way that it spawns and then i would just dig tunnels you know just dig tunnels and then you might even uh dig them off uh, you know, off to the side. Now, I wouldn't do every other block, personally. I would do just a long tunnel uh, and dig out tunnels, uh, you know, skip a few blocks and then dig out a tunnel here because of the way that it generates. And to give you an idea of the way that it generates, let's pop over here to where I actually found uh, this node. And you can see that it generates in this really massive spire. You'll see the spire part. I haven't excavated this whole thing because it takes it takes a while, even in creative, to excavate these large uh, ore deposits. But you can see it has generated this massive, massive column. Now, some of them will be slightly smaller, uh, but generally they're going to be extremely big. Like this, this isn't uh, terribly rare, really, for halite. And it actually keeps going. You can see here, it keeps going off in this direction. Uh, for some ways, like this... Just to give you an idea here, this thing is massive. So that's why I wouldn't do every other block when it comes to halite. And uh, if you're going to do a, a vertical shaft, I wouldn't do every other block either. Uh, if you prefer to dig that way, 
um, I would skip I would skip around and do a few a few block distance at least because they do tend to generate fairly large and also another really great way to find these um, that I tend to like is find a location kind of near where highlight is make sure you know that it's coming up on your prospecting pick uh, at the very least and then just go explore caves in the area uh, because one of the really nice things about highlight is if we go down here you will see that this column of highlight goes all the way down to the mantle which is basically you know bedrock uh within vintage story so highlight once you find a deposit of highlight uh if you're if you're doing the salt dome method once you find a deposit you're going to be set on highlight for like ever <laughs> you're going to have pretty much infinite salt uh i mean theoretically yeah you could run out but it would take you a massive amount of time to run through an entire salt dome so once again, just make sure you're checking places that do have a sedimentary layer. And another thing that can be useful if you don't want to spend a lot of time prospecting, make sure that the sedimentary layer um, where you're going to be prospecting, make sure that it's pretty deep. You can see this one actually goes down pretty far. And generally, the deeper the sedimentary layer, the better chance you're going to, you're going to have of finding halite, honestly, uh, because it's going to have a little bit better rate of spawning, usually in... Uh, in really deep sedimentary layers uh, because it does rely on that sedimentary stone in order for it to spawn but it really comes down to just prospecting and it's going to take a lot of patience because like i said they are pretty rare uh, it can take even in creative it took me a while to find a highlight deposit you know now the other main method for finding salt is to find yourself a desert uh, now i am twenty-five thousand blocks south of spawn uh, in order to find a desert. Of course, I just teleported. It is generally going to be extremely far south. Uh, you can also go north and you'd have to go past the tropics. It would probably be a bit further, maybe more like 40,000 or something if you went north, uh, if I had to guess. I don't know. It's I think it's kind of world dependent too, but uh, generally around 25,000 blocks is a pretty good spot to check for a desert, in my experience, assuming that you're using default settings. Now, if you have patchy world gen, you may have a desert, you know, anywhere, pretty much. Uh, but this is just for standard world gen. And if you start seeing cactuses and, like, the cow skulls and stuff, uh, and, you know, these cactuses, or termites, hyenas, anything like that, you know you're in the right place. Uh, you're going to be looking at rainfall in this area, and you're going to be looking for uh, rare and very rare areas with kind of high outside temperatures. But you're basically looking for like a really dry, hot area. And as you explore around like deserts and kind of these really dry grasslands, what you're going to want to do is break down to the rock level. And you can search for highlight this way uh, just by kind of exposing the rock. Um, because salt lakes are going to be pretty much on the surface. Yeah, there's some highlight. I knew there was highlight here because of, I found this. And you can see sometimes it might be just below the stone layer too. Um, but generally, like right here, you can see it's exposed. Um, that's generally the best way to find it, is just ripping up sand or dirt. Especially in places where the dirt and the sand's not really, really deep. But usually it's going to be no more than like three blocks anyways. Uh, but you can also look for just exposed sections of highlight. Because if you come across this, then you don't have to dig around. Uh, it can be somewhat rare. I will say that. Uh, not as rare as finding like a salt dome, but it can take a little bit uh, in terms of searching to find uh, some highlight. And generally, it's not going to be nearly as big. You can see it only goes down a few blocks. It's not going to be anywhere near as big as a salt dome. Salt dome is going to keep you stocked with salt for a very long time. A salt lake is not going to give you a whole lot of salt, but it'll generally be enough to... Uh, kind of keep you stocked on salt for a bit um, it's just not like you're done with salt or anything uh, and you may search and try to find uh, you know maybe a couple salt lakes or something while you're in your your desert area now it's also worth noting that this halite is not going to show up on a prospecting pick uh, now if I break this stone uh, you can see I've actually got halite in this area but depending on the situation you may be able to prospect for highlight while searching for the surface la uh, lakes of highlight, but these shouldn't show up on your prospecting pick. Uh, now it's also worth noting that traders 
can occasionally sell uh, the halite, and I think they can also sell salt as well, uh, but I know that they can sell halite. So you can keep an eye out as you pass by traders if you're in a dire need for salt, but uh, as far as the actual ways to locate it and mine it, uh, you're going to be limited to these salt lakes and to those salt domes. But that pretty much wraps up this tutorial, so I hope that it helps because uh, I did have a couple questions regarding uh, locating salt. It's going to come down to a lot of time one way or the other. Uh, you're either going to have to go really, really far to find a desert and then dig around to try to find these halite rocks or run around, uh, depending on which method that you're planning on doing it. Or you're going to have to spend a while prospecting and then mining around uh, to find your salt dome. But I hope that this video helped at least a little bit. And uh, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. So anyways, until next time, do take care, stay safe, praise the sun, and I'll see you guys next time.